So this is kind of a disappointing video I'm making. Um, I made a, I had made a previous video before this video, and it was a message to the Huntersville Chamber of Commerce, and um, I was basically just notifying them that everything that I've been notifying you guys about about as far as what uh, how, how City Barbecue has treated its employees, and um, I asked them. If they knew this was going on, well, I knew that they knew that, that this was going on because I contacted them on the phone and talked to somebody from their uh, organization. Uh, the organization I'm talking about is the Huntersville Chamber of Commerce. And um, I told them about all the sexual assaults that had went on at City Barbecue. And um, I was wondering if in the conversation that I uh, had contacted them, uh, what happened in this conversation, I basically just asked the lady, did they know uh, what was going on? Because she asked me why, what did I think I could do by um, contacting them? What did I think they can do? I said, I didn't really think you could do anything. I just wanted you to know that um, it, if this is a company that you support, I want you to know that this is what they've done. So um, the uh, yesterday, last night, around some time after I made my video, um, it's called the... Uh, message to the Huntersville Chamber of Commerce or something like that. It's like the video right before this one. And um, I basically just stated again, um, I actually gave them a five-star rating on their Facebook page. And I said, I'm giving you this rating because uh, basically the lady was concerned. Um, well, I didn't tell them this, but the reason why I gave them uh, this uh, five-star rating on their Facebook page is because the lady I talked to seemed like she was very concerned. And she had told me that she had, I think she had notified one of her police friends or something like that. And, um, so that's why I gave them the, the uh, five star rating. I also made a Google review of them and gave them the same five star rating in hopes that they were just as disturbed by everything that City Barbecue has done to its employees and, and myself as I was. Um, so in response to my Facebook message to the Chamber of Commerce, somebody from their organization contacted me back and told me that um, I, I should notify the police, I should talk to the company, I should do all these things that I've basically already done except for notifying the police. Um, on a side note, too, the reason why uh, a lot of people don't notify the police because a lot of some police departments are invested in certain businesses and they take the side of the business regardless of what's going on. And the same reason why a lot of these girls didn't didn't report their sexual assaults at City Barbecue is because they had trust that the company would handle it like like they said that they were going to handle it, but they did not. But anyway, she um uh the lady who had responded to me from the um Chamber of Commerce, the Huntersville uh, location. She basically told me that I shouldn't be uh, discussing this personal information on uh, uh, social media outlets and I should heed the advice from people about not talking about things on social media. Let, let me um, tell you guys what social media is for. Social media is for us to anybody to express ideas, opinions and to com uh, convert information to the public in uh, any in any way that they see fit is as far. You know, they can express people are allowed to do this. The things that I'm doing on social media. Apparently, a lot of people don't understand this. And um, so they basically told me that they couldn't judge City Barbecue on everything. Uh, just a couple of Facebook pages. But in my review, I told them I had documentation Um uh, uh, as uh, months of documentation, um, as far as everything I'm saying to back up, uh, everything that I'm saying, cause these aren't claims, the things that I say, they're facts. Claims are things that people are doing against me and trying to say against me because they don't want me to keep presenting these facts and keep pushing these issues to the public. So, um, I just, um, I want to go back to one of my previous videos called city barbecue corruption, where I discussed how, um, how immature people are these days, how, uh, uh, almost like child child minded like people have been put in positions of power and it, they just don't get it. Like, I, I just don't understand people these days. Like, what part don't you get about when something is wrong? Somebody should stand up and say something. Whatever happened to see something, say something. Apparently, a lot of people are acquainted with see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, because that is what all these other people are worried about doing. Uh, well, worried about, yeah, doing is not is acting like they don't see this evil hearing it and they don't want to speak about it. But um, I, I contacted them because I wanted to know if they were still affiliated with City Barbecue in any way. And um, this it seemed like the lady was kind of upset that I was telling asking them this. Um, and I was also reviewing the, their um, company on their Facebook page as well. But it seemed like she was more upset about me saying these things uh, and saying that as personal information. You're, you're right. You're darn right. It's personal information. It's nothing illegal that I'm um, presenting. That's personal information. But it is personal information pertaining to um, 
asking you if you're still affiliated with this company. That's all I asked. I said uh, you were, you know, they were very good, you know, nice to me and everything. But my question is, are you still affiliated with this uh, company? What what a lot of people don't get is you should not be affiliated with this company if you know the definition of what a chamber of commerce is supposed to be, which I didn't. I had to look it up. But if you're still promoting this company, you're still trying to protect their interests or whatnot. What does that say about your organization? So I'm just so sick of people in this world acting like um, people who have a different opinion that goes against the norm is not allowed to express that opinion just because uh, I don't. Um, have, I'm not being politically correct and um, I, I don't want to use little fancy words to sugarcoat the things that I'm saying. People are more upset that I'm saying these things than they are about uh, the fact that these things have happened. So um, I just want to inform you guys again that this is, you know, this is kind of how our world works. And it's, and it's pretty it's quite sad that um, we are raised in a, you know, in America, in a place where we are supposed to uh, do righteous things and defend righteous causes, which is what I'm doing. And so many uh, uh, self-proclaimed adults um, don't seem to get that um, this is the right thing to do and that they should sever ties with people who are not interested in doing the right things. So it, it's just very, very disturbing that this is what our world has come to. And I just, I just want you guys to, this is just me just talking. I, I just want you guys to understand that this is where we've come to uh, in society and um, it's just very, very sad that we have uh, our children, um, are going to have to grow up in this world with people who are in positions of power that just don't seem to get, uh, simple black and white, simple right from wrong, simple, uh, the simplicity of the things that I'm saying is you should have, when I, if I was, um, um, the head of chamber of commerce or I was whoever that, um, who run this organization, I would have cut ties as soon as I found anything out, but not only, um, cutting ties, um, you need to investigate or look closer into companies before you decide to support them. Because if things like this are going on and you're in, in, um, you don't know it, that's fine. But it is partly your fault if you don't know things that are going on, if you don't investigate. So if somebody comes to you and tells you something like that, if I was somebody from Chamber of Commerce, my first uh, mission would have been after I received the information that I have given them, my first um uh, initiative would have been to um, go investigate and go talk to people about if this is going on instead of still parading and celebrating a, a name of a company who would allow something like this to go on. So, um, and and I also want you to know, like you, like I've said in another one of my videos, you have to empower yourself when it comes to things like this. And don't feel bad if people don't like what you're saying. And don't feel upset if... Uh, People want to be worried about what you're saying because you're saying stuff that people don't like. If it's true, it doesn't matter if they like it or not. It's the truth. So the only question I had had was, did you guys still affiliate with this company? And apparently it, um, uh, I was upsetting more people by asking that question than I was that three. Uh, they were more upset about me asking these questions than apparently they were about these three sexual assaults. Because if you're that upset about me saying something, you should have been a thousand more times upset about these things actually happening and trying to investigate so you can know what's going on. They are telling me that I, that they merely suggest that I um do this on the right outlet and so on, so on, so on. No, this is the right outlet. The outlets that I am are the right outlets because um, uh, contacting people personally and doing all these other things and letting people know the same, the simple facts have, that have gone on is apparently it's not working. So if you're supposed to be an adult, you need to wake up and pay attention and listen to what's going on and then follow, um, uh, pursue a way of going about handling the situation or trying to figure out um, a some kind of game plan where you can uh, figure out what's going on in this situation, the truth of the matter, so you can then have a um, form some kind of result or some kind of plan game plan to have a result, an uh, actual result that would be... Um, help that would help hold people accountable for their actions because that's all I am saying to do is that you should basically look into this and hold these people accountable for their actions and if they don't want to be accountable for it then why would you your organization want to have any part of, of their organization so it's just um mad crazy that um people will still sit here and um, say that they are one thing, their job description says that they're, um, that they are supposed to represent and do one thing, but then they do another because the truth offends them or they don't like hearing the truth over social media, even though that is what people are use social media for is to, uh, 
uh, engineer, well, I don't know about engineering, but basically presenting their ideas and their facts to the public. And that's all I've been doing this whole time. So, um, like I said, the, these are the things that um, supposedly people in power are supposed to be grownups. They're more upset about than they are about the, that these things have actually happened. And um, so I guess I'm going to have to keep on cranking these videos out. I'm going to have to keep up with my Facebook page. I'm going to have to keep um, uh, trooping and trooping until something is done to rectify the problem. Because there is a serious problem with an organization that can treat their employees this way and keep getting away with it. And it seems like nobody is upset like they are supposed to be. Nobody is irate like they should be about about uh, what a company like this would allow to happen to their uh, employees on a on a regular on a uh, daily basis at multiple locations. Like I said, like if they take me to court, I will be bringing every single review that I have of this company with me so I can uh, read the reviews to the judge or have my lawyer or whoever's defending me uh, read my reviews to the judge and let them know that all of my um, words and all of my um, self-expression things on, on social media are based on facts and not just because um, I am on some kind of revenge path or I'm some kind of evil, mad, uh, wannabe genius who thinks that they can, uh, uh, who is threatening people and all this other stuff that they're lying on me about because I'm not. What I am is a person who pursues righteousness. What I am is a person who pursues justice. What I am is a person who does not like to see uh, honorable honorable uh, people be disrespected and uh, put down and dishonorable people be uh, highly respected and praised for doing these things that they should not be doing or um, treating people in ways that they should not be treating people. So again, this is just a... Um, Another little chat. I'm just trying to keep you guys updated. I guess you can call this my um, audio diary that I'll be keeping because eventually, you know, people will listen. It seems like nobody else wants to listen. So uh, I have to keep presenting this facts to whoever will listen. And, uh, thank you again. I'm going to go ahead and get off of this thing. So I, I don't want to talk your ear off no more. I want to go to like 30 minutes of me just talking because believe me, I, I am so disturbed by uh, people's actions and by um, what they're so mad about. Uh, that I could go on for like uh, hours at hand and just talk about this because uh, that is the only way that I can get it off my chest. So regardless if they want to hear it and they don't understand the truth and they don't want to understand the truth and they want to do the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil thing, somebody will still uh, hear this regardless if they want to or not. Like I said, you don't have to listen to me. I don't care if you listen to me or not. This is just a, another way for me to express uh, how um, upset I am by these issues. And how upset I am that uh, nobody else is upset by these issues. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. But thanks for listening again. Peace out.